हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द ऑडियो बुक गाय चैनल एंड टुडे आई एम हेयर विथ यू विथ यू कैन विन बुक सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड चैप्टर वन इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ एटीट्यूड विनर्स एज एबिलिटी टीचेस अस हाउ वी डू मोटिवेशन टीचेस अस वाई वी डू एंड एटीट्यूड डिसाइड्स हाउ वेल वी डू देर वॉज अ मैन हु मेड हिज लिविंग सेलिंग बलून्स एट अ फेयर ही हैड बलून्स ऑफ मैनी डिफरेंट कलर्स इंक्लूडिंग रेड येलो ब्लू एंड ग्रीन वेन एवर बिजनेस वॉज स्लो ही वुड रिलीज अ हीलियम फिल्ड बलून इन टू द एयर वेन द चिल्ड्रेन सॉ द बलून गो आप दे ऑल वॉन्टेड वन दे वुड कम अप टू हिम बाय अ बलून एंड हिज सेल्स वुड गो अप ऑल डे ही कंटिन्यूड टू रिलीज अ बलून वेन एवर सेल्स वर स्लो वन डे द बलून मैन फेल्ट सम वन टगिंग एट हिज जैकेट ही टर्न अराउंड एंड अ लिटल बॉय आस्ड If you release a black balloon will that also fly moved by the boy's concern the man replied gently son it is not the color of the balloon it is what's inside that makes it go up the same principle applies to our lives it's what's inside that counts and what inside of us that makes us go up is our attitude william james of at harvard university said The greatest discovery of my generation is that human beings can alter their lives by altering their attitude of mind. Most of us have heard the power of positive thinking but very few had heard of the power of negative thinking. They both are very powerful but take us in totally opposite directions. Just the way positive thinking empowers people to achieve new heights, negative thinking propels people towards self-destruction. Your attitude contributes to success. A study attributed to Harvard University found that when a person gets a job or a promotion, 85% of the time it is because of his attitude and only a 15% of the time because of his intelligent and knowledge of specific fact and figure. Isn't it surprising? Then almost 100% of education dollars go to teach facts and figures which only account for 15% of success in life you can win is all about 80% of success attitude is the most important word in the english language it applies to every sphere of life including one's personal and professional life can an executive be a good executive without a good attitude can a student be a good student without a good attitude can parents teachers sales persons employers or employees be a good in their role without a good attitude the foundation of success regardless of your chosen field is attitude if attitude is a such critical factor in success shouldn't we examine our attitude towards life and ask how our attitude will affect our lives acres of diamond hafiz was a farmer in africa who was happy and content he was happy because he was content and he was content because he was happy both are interrelated to each other one day a wise man came and told him about the glory of diamonds and the power that goes along with them the wise man said if you had a thumb size diamond you could buy your own city if you had a size of diamond to your fist you could probably buy your own country and then the wise man left that night hafiz could not sleep he was unhappy and he was discontented he was unhappy because he was discontented and discontented because he was unhappy the next morning hafiz made all arrangements to sell his farm took care of his family and went off in search of diamonds he looked all over africa and couldn't find any he looked all through europe and couldn't find any by the time he got to spain he was emotionally physically and financially broke he was so disheartened that he threw himself into the barcelona river and committed a suicide back home the person who had bought his farm was watering the camels at the stream that ran through the farm across the stream the rays of the morning sun hit a stone and made it sparkle like a rainbow he thought the stone would look good in his living room he picked up that stone put in his mantelpiece that afternoon the wise man came and saw the stone sparkling he asked is hafiz back the new owner said no why do you ask the wise man said because that is a diamond i recognize one when i see one 
The man said, No, that's just a stone I picked up from the stream. Come, I'll show you. There are many more. They went and picked some samples and sent them for analysis. Sure enough, stones were diamond. They found that the farm indeed was covered with acres and acres of diamond. What is the moral of the story? There are many morals. When our attitude is right, we realize that we are all walking on acres of diamond. Opportunities are always under our feet. We don't have to go anywhere. When we don't know how to recognize opportunity, it could slap us on our face and we would still not learn to recognize it. All we need is to, to listen and learn to recognize opportunities. People who don't know how to recognize opportunities complain the noise of when they knock. Lost opportunities are easier recognized when they are leaving rather than when they are coming. An opportunity only knocks once. The next one may be better or worse but never the same one. That is why it is so crucial to make the right decision at the right time. A right decision at the wrong time becomes a wrong decision at all. The grass on the other side always look greener. There are two dimensions to the greener grass. A. It may be possible that the other farmer is taking better care of his grass and it is actually greener. B. Most of the time, however, it is only an illusion. Many times in life, while chasing an illusion, we lost out the opportunity right under our feet. While we are eyeing the grass on other side, there are others who are eyeing the grass on our side. They would be happy to trade places with us. David and Goliath We all know the biblical story of David and Goliath. Goliath was a giant of a man. He struck fear in everyone's heart. One day, 17-year-old boy came and to visit his brothers and asked, Why don't you fight the giant? The brother were terrified of Goliath and replied, Don't you see, he is too big to hit. But David said, No, he is not too big to hit. He is too big to miss. The rest is history. We all know what had happened. David killed the giant with a slingshot. Same giant, different perceptions. Our attitude determines how we look at the setback. To a positive thinker, a setback can be a stepping stone to success. To a negative thinker, it can be a stumbling block. Great thinker and philosopher feel that and believe that every problem comes with an equal or greater opportunity for success. The importance of attitude to organizations have you ever wondered why some individual organization or countries are more successful than others? It's not a secret. They simply think and act more effectively. They do so by investing in their most valuable asset known as people. I have spoken to executive in major organization and internationally and asked them a question. If you had a magic wand and there was one thing you could change that would make you more productive what it could be their answer was unanimous they said they would like to change their people's attitude with a better attitude people would be better team players cut down on waste quality and bottom line would go up in general their company would be a great place to work in experience has shown that human resources are the most valuable asset People are more valuable than capital or an equipment. Unfortunately, human resources are also most wasted resources. People can be your biggest asset or your biggest liability. TQP Total Quality People Having attended a number of training programs such as a customer service, selling skills, strategic planning, etc. I have come to a conclusion that most of these are great programs with one major challenge. None of them will work unless they have a right foundation and that right foundation is TQP. What is TQP? TQP is a total quality people. They are people with character, integrity, good values and positive attitudes. Don't get me wrong, you do need these programs but they will only work when you have the right foundation total quality people 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल सम कस्टमर सर्विस प्रोग्राम टीच पार्टिसिपेंट टू से प्लीज एंड थैंक यू स्माइल एंड शेक हैंड्स हाउ लॉन्ग कैन अ पर्सन स्माइल इफ यू डूज नॉट वॉन्ट टू सर्व बिसाइड पीपल कैन ऑलवेज सी थ्रू अ फेक स्माइल वेन स्माइल इज नॉट सिंसियर इट इज इरीटेटिंग द पॉइंट इज देर हैव टू बी सब्सटेंस ओवर फॉर्म नॉट जस्ट फॉर्म ओवर सब्सटेंस विदाउट अ डाउट पीपल हु सर्व कस्टमर्स शुड से प्लीज एंड थैंक यू स्माइल एंड सो फोर्थ दीज थिंग्स आर इम्पॉर्टेंट बट कीप इन माइंड दैट दे कम अ लॉट ईजियर वेन अ कंपेन्ड बाय अ डिजायर टू सर्व सम वन वंस अप्रोच ब्लेस पैसकल द फेमस फ्रेंच फिलोसोफर एंड सेड इफ आई हैड योर ब्रेन्स आई वुड बी अ बेटर पर्सन पासकल रिप्लाइड बी अ बेटर पर्सन एंड यू विल हैव माई ब्रेन्स ग्रेट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आर नॉट मेजर्ड बाय वेजेज एंड इज वर्किंग कंडीशंस दे आर मेजर्ड बाय फीलिंग्स एटीट्यूड एंड रिलेशनशिप वेन एम्प्लॉय से आई कांट डू दिस दे आर रियली सेंग वन ऑफ टू थिंग्स आइदर they are saying i don't know how to do it or i don't want to do it if they are saying i don't know how to do it that is a technical issue if they are saying i don't want to do it they are again really saying one of the two things either i don't care to do it or i feel strongly enough not to do it the first one is an attitude issue issue they don't care the second one is a values issue they don't believe they should do it we find a greater percentages of challenge all over the world fall into these two categories attitude is the foundation of the success the greater the success the stronger the foundation the calgary tower stands at the 190.8 meters the total weight of that tower is 10884 tons of which 6349 tons are below the ground approximately 60% This shows that the tallest and the greatest buildings have the strong foundations just like a great building stands on a strong foundation so do success and the foundation of success is in an attitude a holistic approach i believe in a holistic approach we are not just arms and legs eyes and ears heart and brain but a complete human being the whole person goes to work and the whole person comes home behaviors don't change people who are honest at home are honest at work and people who are dishonest at home are dishonest or work we take family problems to work and work problems to the family what happens when we take family problems to our work our stress level goes up and our productivity comes down similarly work problems to have an impact not on our families but on every aspect of our lives personal professional and social problems are strongly interconnected and impact each other factors that determine our attitude let me ask you are we born with attitude or do we develop them as we mature what are the factors that form at our attitudes can attitude be changed most of our attitude were shaped during our formative years while we born with tendencies towards temperaments these are three factors that are largely determine our attitude formation these are the formula of triple e's of attitude environment experience and education let's evaluate each of these factor individually first environment environment consists of the following home environment positively or negatively influences start rubbing off on all family members school environment peer pressure work environment supportive or over critical environment social environment media televisions pay newspapers magazines radio and movies etc what is socially acceptable or unacceptable starts influencing on our attitude economic environment abject poverty can you teach values on an empty stomach religious environment many times either interpretation or misinterpretation of religion makes people fatalistic political environment all this environment create a culture every every place be it a home organization or a country has a culture or a lack of it even lack of it is a culture for example if you go a shop and you may find the sales person polite the supervisor polite manager polite the owner polite you go to another shop and you find the sales person rude supervisor rude manager rude and the owner rude there is a culture running similarly if you go to a home 
and you find the kids are courteous so the parents even the help is polite you go to another home and you may find the cats are kids are fighting like cats and dogs so our parents even the help is rude there is another culture running culture in any place always goes top down never bottom up in countries where there is a political uncertainty people stop thinking long term they start thinking short term their objective become to fleece everybody and fill their pockets today because if their pockets are full today they will be more prepared to face the uncertainties of tomorrow in countries where the government and political environment is honest generally you will find that the people are honest law abiding and helpful and the reverse is too true too in a corrupt environment an honest person has a hard time whereas in honest environment a corrupt person had a hard time in a positive environment a marginal performer's output goes up in a negative environment a good performer output goes down we need to step back and look at what kind of environment we have created for ourselves and those around us it is tough to expect positive behavior in a negative environment in societies where lawness becomes law honest to city zones become cheat crooks and dacoits take some time to evaluate how the environment that you are in affects you and how the environment created by you and affected others experiences events and experiences in life determine our attitude if we have a positive experience with a person our attitude towards him is likely to be positive and conversely negative experience tend us to make us cautions experiences and events become reference points in our lives and we draw conclusions which serve as guidelines for the future i teach my grandson to tell truth if he sees me lying he gets somewhat confused initially because he hears one thing and experiences something else he draws his own conclusion and based on his experience which becomes his reference point going forward in life ha huh. education holistic education out to teach us not only how to make a living but also how to live education refers to both formal and informal education we are droning in information but starving for knowledge and wisdom strategically applied knowledge translates into wisdom which in turn translate into success the role of educator is a vital a teacher affects eternity the triple effect is immeasurable how do you recognize people with a positive attitude just as the absence of ill health does not equal to good health similarly the absence of negativity does not make a person positive people with positive attitude have certain personality traits that are easy to recognize they are caring confident patient and humble they are having high expectations of themselves and other they expect positive outcomes a person with a positive attitude is like fruit of all seasons he is always welcome the benefits of a positive attitude there are many benefits of having a positive attitude the advantages are easy to see but unfortunately sometimes what is easy to see is also easy to miss a positive attitude makes for a pleasing personality is energizing and invigorating gives fulfillment and make life meaningful inspire oneself and others helps people become contributing members and assets to society increases people productivity and profits fosters teamwork and better relationship solves problem and makes positive decisions making pride in performance and improves quality make us for a congenial environment breeding breeds loyalty and dependent dependability reduces stress and increases happiness in other words a positive attitude leads us to a happy healthy and prosperous life the consequences of a negative attitude life is obstacle course and we become our biggest obstacle by having a negative attitude people with negative attitude have a hard time keeping friendship jobs marriages and relationship negative attitude lead to bitterness 
रेजेंटमेंट रेजेंटमेंट डिसकंटेंटमेंट फ्रस्ट्रेशन अ पर्पजलेस लाइफ इल हेल्थ हाई स्ट्रेस ऑफ फॉर सेल्फ एंड अदर्स निगेटिव एटीट्यूड क्रिएट एन अनप्लेजेंट एनवायरमेंट एट होम एट वर्क एंड इन सोसाइटी दे पास ऑन देयर निगेटिविटी टू अदर अराउंड देम पीपल विथ निगेटिव एटीट्यूड बिकम्स अ लाइबिलिटी टू सोसाइटी डू एटीट्यूड गो फ्रॉम वन जनरेशन टू द नेक्स्ट एब्सोल्यूटली नो वंडर वी फाइंड सम फैमिलीज एंड सोसाइटी इज मोर पॉजिटिव दैन अदर्स वेन वी बिकम अवेयर ऑफ अवर निगेटिव एटीट्यूड वाई डोंट वी चेंज ह्यूमन नेचर जनरली रिजिस्ट चेंज चेंज इज अनकम्फर्टेबल रिगार्डलेस ऑफ वेदर इट इज पॉजिटिव और निगेटिव चेंज कैन ऑफन बी स्ट्रेसफुल समटाइम्स वी गेट सो कम्फर्टेबल विथ अवर निगेटिविटी दैट इवन वेन द चेंज इज फॉर बेटर वी डोंट वॉन्ट टू एक्सेप्ट इट वी प्रिफर to stay with the comfort of the negative charles dickens wrote about a prisoner who was locked up for many years in a dungeon after serving his sentence he got his freedom he was brought out from his cell into the bright daylight to the open world this man looked all around and after few moments was so uncomfortable with his newly acquired freedom that he asked to be taken back to the confines of his cell to him the dungeon chains and darkness were more familiar secure and comfortable than accepting the change of freedom and an open world many modern day prisoners do the same thing they stresses to having cope in unfamiliar worlds are so great that they may purposely commit another crime in order to send back to the prison where though their freedom is restricted they have fewer decision to make your attitude is negative your life is restricted your success at work will be limited you will have fewer friends you will not enjoy life to its fullest in next chapter i'll share with you my thoughts on how you can build a positive attitude building a positive attitude will take a lot of hard work and a commitment but would be tremendously rewarding in every area of life thank you friends bye bye